Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and if there's one thing we have a lot of around here, it's video cameras. Now, the one type that has been missing from our collection is a camera that we can take out when it's raining, take out in the water at the beach. We haven't wanted to damage our cameras, so we haven't been able to record in those places. Well, that may change as we add this to our collection, the latest from Z Blaze. Epic Review Guys. This rough and tumble sports camera from Z Blaze isn't something we would probably use daily, but it's something that would be nice to have on those occasions when we'd be afraid to take our other camera out. And this is a high definition camera, it's very small, you can take it anywhere. You may be saying, well, isn't that a GoPro? Well, yes, they do make a camera like this for about $400. This one goes for just over $100, and I'll put a link to this down below the video. Now my brother reviewed an inexpensive, go-anywhere sports type camera from Vivitar, better part of a year, year and a half ago. I know he took it out on his inflatable kayak out on the river and uh, got some good footage. The thing he noticed is that when he put it in the waterproof case, there was no more sound. Now this is uh, built-in waterproofing, so you don't have any special case for it. Based on the camera reviews we've done on this channel, Ziblaze offered to send this out for us to try. And since this is the one type of camera we were missing, I was very excited to see. Looks like a shaving kit. Closed up by zippers. Okay. Ah, yeah, a lot of um, telescope and spotting scopes and so forth. They give you a case like this with the foamy stuff inside so it doesn't suffer too much shock when you're transporting it. And I'll have to figure out what all the components are here. I recognize this one in the middle though. This is the camera. It's got, I think, a 1000 milliamp hour battery that's supposed to give you two hours of recording. So that accounts for the weight, but it's definitely tiny. There's a charging, a tripod kind of adapter, a whole bunch of stuff in here. I'll have to take a look at. And this is a cool thing. It's, uh, I read about this, this is a watch that controls the camera. So rather than just having to let it go, while well, you're, I don't know, let's say you're rafting and you stick it out on the front of the raft or something, instead of just letting it record, record, record because you're busy trying not to have the raft flip over, you can control the recording from the watch. It should save a lot of power. And speaking of watches controlling a camera, I've seen some new models that actually have a screen in the watch that uh, streams what the camera is seeing. Pretty cool. With this, it has Wi-Fi and there are um, apps for both the Android phone and the iPhone that at least on the phone will let you see the same kind of thing, live streaming from the camera. I've taken a few minutes to look through everything that came with it and try to understand them all with the instructions. Um, the instructions point you in the direction of what to do, but um, a little hard to follow and some reference to pictures that are missing, but I'm impressed by what it says this camera can do. It comes with a strap for attaching to a bicycle helmet, and this uses some double-sided tape pieces to attach the camera so you can ride around with the camera on top of your helmet. Also comes with a, um, a, a handlebar clamp for your uh, bicycle, your motorcycle, I guess whatever it is you're going to be riding that you want to have that out front view. I guess you could also point it backwards and have it kind of, you know, your face and doing this sort of thing too. Charging cable to plug it into a USB transformer or computer and then the camera itself. Now I've popped this open. Was kind of surprised to find the battery in a bag. I thought, is that how they make it waterproof? But no, I think you're supposed to take it out of the bag in order to plug it in and get it going. Let me show you this up close. It is amazing what they can fit into such a small package these days. And here I have opened it up. There's the back panel with a little screen. Inside it takes a micro SD card that fits in there. And the battery that I pulled out that was in a bag will fit in on top of that. You put this uh, very tight clamp, plastic clamp, over this. And I can feel a rubber seal in here when I'm closing closing this up and flip it over there and then pull it back to the front Let me make sure I'm doing this right this is the basis of your waterproofing and your dust proofing is this very tight <coughs> seal I'm gonna put the battery in now I've got an 8 gigabyte um, micro SD card 
think that ought to hold an hour's worth of video HD. Just got to hold it long enough. I guess it's made so accidental presses don't turn it on. By default, it goes into video mode, 1080p, 30 frames per second. Now you can adjust that. You can go down to VGA at 120 frames a second if you want to be able to do some changing the time motion in there. This also will take photographs and you can play back on it, but it's a pretty tiny screen. There you can see it, controls on the side. We've got to format the card. Let me look through the menu. The battery comes about half charged, so you better plan on charging it up before seriously using it. The, the menu is basically, you had to figure out which buttons to go left and right was the hardest thing. But it's the way all cameras work, where up and down and hit enter to go in and then choose the options. So if you've used this sort of stuff before, it's similar, but no instructions are really going to point you to where you need to go. You'd need to poke around in it. Now I did find, I did format the card, and I have found a couple interesting things along the way. One of which is, there's a motion detection. So if you wanted to put this out, put out some feed and see what animals come at night in your backyard, you can put this out and um, have it record when it detects motion and does have a built-in light with different brightness. And I don't know what that mode's for. Scare the animals away. Cool though, all the features they packed into this. Time to try recording again. Got the little red circle. There we go. I'll walk around a little outside and I'll include a little of this footage in this review. I'm watching the footage here on uh, my laptop. It's .mov files. I'm not sure if I can change that. It wanted me to go and get QuickTime. It's pretty good. It's very sharp. It, that, that really wide angle sort of fisheye effect, though, I'm not used to. Zoom is definitely digital zoom, not an optical zoom. I can tell when I zoomed in. I can't tell where the microphone is. At one point I covered it up, but I still don't know where it is on the camera. This has really just been a desktop trial for the Zablaze camera. I'm going to take this though on two upcoming events to really try it out. One is next month in March, planning to go to West Texas and climb Guadalupe Peak, the highest peak in Texas. Very windy, dusty, can be really cold. Um, Hopefully it won't be raining, but I'm going to see what to attach this to. I didn't plan to wear a helmet, so I'm not sure where I will put it, but to uh, record the climb. And then in April, we usually take our first trip to the beach. So I'm really excited about that to see how this will work in the water. Now, I realize now why the shaving kit thing is so nice, because if I'm going to be taking it around, and there are these different components for doing the attaching and so forth, having this with the uh, punched out, sections for the, the main components and the cushion and then the little spot here and I've kept the bags that the other pieces came in and store them there. It's very nice to just be able to take this when you get there then you can take it all out and set it up how you want to use it. So far I would say looks pretty good for the money. I'm not used to that fisheye ultra wide angle but from my understanding the GoPro is the same kind of idea. If you want to have all that view there's no way you can have it with the regular proportion you're used to looking at with your eyeball, so you have to have some of that effect. For just over a hundred dollars, this seems to be a pretty good alternative to the GoPro camera. I will post updates after those events where I try it out up in the mountains and out at the sea. If you'd like to get one for yourself to try out, I'll put a link down below this video and you can check back for those update videos after I take it on those events or you can click that subscribe button down below this video. You'll get notified when those videos go up. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. Nobody knows, but before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.